tell you just the difference between lick and lick. Is this side fills okay? So the stick fight, the stick fight, fudge. But it wasn't like I was spending that on stuff that I didn't need. Well, that could be debatable. However, that's not the point. Um, I do think that the you I think I got something in my teeth. Hold on. Curious. I don't even know what I'm saying. And my eyes are getting ready to shut on me. Me my my eyes. <laughs> me my my eyes. Which I mean, yeah, no. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Tara Lynn. I upload a video pretty much every single day, and every single Friday, I actually test out a new foundation. Today, we are testing out the new foundation from Hourglass. It has not been released yet, but Hourglass was kind enough to offer little samples samples in the beauty offer. So I went ahead and picked up two of the samples because I really wanted to give it a try. I wanted to test it next to the stick foundation. Is it the same? Is it different? I'm very curious about it. It's basically the liquid form of their iconic Vanish Stick Foundation. So that's what we're going to be testing out today. I'm very curious about this. I think it's fantastic that Hourglass actually released samples of this before it became available. Many brands don't do that and I really appreciate it when they do because I think it gives us a chance as consumers to try these products before they're actually released just so that we can try it and not waste our time. Like if it doesn't work, we don't have to worry about taking it back and get a refund or whatever. It's That's all just such a major hassle. But this is fantastic because you can get the sample of it, you can try it. If you like it, you can go ahead and pick it up when it releases. So I am really, really appreciative to Hourglass for doing this. So we're going to jump right into the review. In this review, I've only been able to wear this for two days because I did get my sample right around uh, noontime on Wednesday. So I wore it the first day. I wore it all over the face and then today I'm actually wearing it half and half. So I'm wearing half the foundation in the liquid and half the foundation in the stick. Before we jump into the description of the foundation, I wanna briefly mention to you guys what I look for in a foundation because I do think that's very important when somebody is reviewing a foundation that you know right off the bat exactly what they look for because your needs may be different from mine or vice versa. And what I look for in a foundation might be different from what you need and what you look for. So I think it's really important for me to make that clear. I'm almost 40 years old and so I need a foundation that looks more natural versus matte. I can't wear matte foundations as I've aged. And I definitely like more of a medium, sometimes a full coverage, but I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be a mask like full coverage. So if I do full coverage, I like it to be more on the natural side. And I definitely prefer a little bit more of a radiant, a little bit more of a dewier type finish, especially right now. Typically I have normal skin. Right now I'm climate dry. It's in the middle of the winter where I'm at. And so I'm definitely a little bit more on the dry side. So just so that you guys know that moving forward and yeah, I'm excited about this foundation. I have two of the Vanish Stick Foundations here and I have it in the shade beige and I also have it in the shade golden. And I am a medium with a warm undertone. And so beige is actually described as medium with warm undertone and they actually had a little sample in the shade beige. So I was very, very grateful for that. And we're gonna jump straight into the information about the foundation. So this liquid foundation is $56 for 25 mils. So this is just less than an ounce. So it's 0 0.084 ounces. I would say 90% of the foundations that I have in my collection are a full ounce, 30 mils. It is a full coverage foundation with a natural finish and it is for normal dry combination and oily skin. It's a highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage with just half a pump with no primers needed. This highly concentrated formula provides full coverage with minimal product. It applies like a second skin, creating a smooth and flawless complexion. Light reflecting micro fears blurs and creates a soft focus finish. This non-comedogenic formula is waterproof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. Let's go to the information about the stick foundation. We're gonna have the description of these side by side. The stick foundation also comes in 32 different shades. This stick foundation is only a quarter of an ounce. The difference is it's a stick. It's hard to compare a solid foundation, a stick foundation, versus a liquid on how much you actually get or how many times you get to apply it. 
before you have to replace it because this is only a quarter of an ounce. It's 0.25. Ooh, but this has been a holy grail for so many people. There are some definite similarities between this and the liquid. And obviously it's because, you know, they say that this is pretty much the exact same product, except for this is in the liquid form and this is in the stick form. I don't particularly love this foundation on its own. So typically when I wear this foundation, I wear this as more of a coverage builder. So I will go in with one of my other favorite foundations that maybe has a light to medium coverage. And then I will use this Vanish Stick Foundation to kind of fill in and add coverage where I need it. Because that's the one thing that I love about this. This has been a really good perfect mixer foundation for me. I will leave a full list of all the foundations that I wear in the description box down below. Those are some of my favorites and the shade that I wear. Just so that you can pop down there and look. Maybe you're closer to my skin tone and you're curious about what you know my shade range is. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's head straight into the tutorial. First day I wear the liquid all over the face and I wear it for just under 12 hours. But today I did the stick on one side and the liquid on the other and then I'm gonna wear this for over 12 hours and we're really going to inspect my skin up close I wore my hair up so that it would be easier for you guys to see what I'm doing more up close shots and footage and stuff so I'm excited to test this out so without further ado let's jump right into the video okay so let's get trying out this foundation I am so excited about it Oh, I gotta calm down because I can feel myself getting way too excited. Okay, so first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Now I've already done makeup once today, already filmed, and then this sample arrived. So I wiped off all my makeup and here we go because I wanna be able to test this for two days before, you know, giving you guys an opinion on it. My Sephora package actually came earlier today, which I didn't know if it was gonna come because we got like a foot of snow overnight. So I didn't know if it was gonna come today. I actually got two of them. I ordered two different things so that I could get two samples of it. I'm that kind of girl. The shade that I got was beige and I have beige in the stick and I also have golden in the stick. So both of these shades match me just fine. We're gonna look and see if beige is the same as the stick. So that you guys know that, like when you go to buy it, is it the same shade as what you have in the stick? Oh, it comes in this adorable little glass bottle. Oh my gosh, you are the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So this is the new one, this little one right here. This is the liquid. This is golden and this is beige. So I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not the same shade. Um, this one is a little bit more warmer. Beige is described as medium with warm undertone in the liquid form. So beige in the stick form is described as medium with warm undertone. So they're both described as medium with warm undertone, but I would say the liquid form is a little bit warmer. I'm just going to paint this on the face. I'm going to do this side with the brush. It feels just like the stick form. It really does. All right, I'm gonna take a sponge and just kind of smooth that out. I got a hair. Oh, I got a hair. Let's go ahead and put some down here and blend that in. Now this little bruise you're seeing over here, I had Botox um, yesterday, so I have them on my forehead too. I have a few of them on my forehead. All right, so, so far, a little bit of this foundation goes a little, really long way. And I think that's what's gonna be the difference between this and the stick, is that I feel like you're gonna get more foundation with this than you will the stick. This is really warm, you guys, like exceptionally warm. And this might be, all right, I'm gonna use a different sponge because for some reason, that sponge from Fenty, I like it, but it's super soft. It's almost too soft. I really like the mini sponges. I got those when I got the concealer and I really like them, these two right here. I really like them for under the eyes. But as far as the face goes, that one's too soft. But the new one from Morphe is too hard. This is my old one because I can't seem to get them to work. I would say the only difference between this and the stick is the shade. And even though the shade has the exact same description this is very warm and I'm missing I'm gonna like build up a little bit of coverage I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna apply half of the face with a stick and half the face with the liquid 
And then I can really kind of say, okay, this is exactly the same or no, it's different. You know what I mean? Because it has been a minute since I've worn the stick alone. Typically, typically, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Typically, if I wear the stick foundation, I wear it with other foundations. So for example, if I'm, I'll put my Lancome Skin Feels Good all over and if I need to build coverage, I'll take the stick from Vanish and go in and kind of um, fill it in where I feel like I need it. This is even more powdery and more matte than the stick is, but this like dries down and it doesn't budge. It doesn't go anywhere, but it does look pretty dang good. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Like I'm right now in the in-between situation, but I think to wear this today, I think I'm gonna take some of my Wonder Beauty, um, this is the Glow Getter Setter Mist, Setter Mist. <laughs> this is a Glow Getter Setting Mist. And I'm gonna spray my sponge and I'm gonna press that over top of this foundation and really kind of melt it into the skin because I kind of feel like that's the thing that it's missing is that the cream foundation kind of melts into the skin. This one doesn't as much. I mean, you can already see a difference. This one doesn't melt quite like that one does. It just feels like it kind of sits on top of the skin. Now that I did that, I like it a lot better. Like I like it a lot better. It looks a little bit more natural. It's still exceptionally yellow, but I'm wondering once I get concealer on and, you know, really work that in, um, maybe put some bronzer and some blush and stuff on, maybe that might make a difference. Typically I like to wear my foundations, you know, for like 12 hours or longer every time I test them out, but today is kind of the exception because this didn't come until um, afternoon. And so I wanna be able to get this up for you guys on Friday. So I'm gonna wear this for as long as I can tonight. I might be able to wear it until midnight. We'll just see how it goes. But currently it is 1.19 in the afternoon. Come on, there you go. It's 1.19 in the afternoon. So I'm gonna really try to wear this for as long as I can. And then tomorrow I'm gonna come back on. And I will show you guys applying half of the face with the stick and then half the face with the liquid. Just so that you guys can see what the differences is as I'm, as I'm applying it. So this is what it's looking like. And I'll be honest with you, this foundation sets. And the only thing that I'm hating about it is I feel dry. I feel like I'm, I've got like missing foundation. Like I feel like this dries so fast that I feel like I'm missing foundation like right in this area or right here in this area. And I don't feel like I get that from the stick. Like I feel like the stick is so creamy that it blends out so good that I get a nice even application. I don't know that I feel like this is a fully even application of this foundation. I'm coming in hella close right now, but I just feel like I'm missing some foundation around in this area. I don't know, it could just be my head telling me that, but I just want you guys to really see what this looks like. I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame when I'm looking in the monitor, but it just looks really yellow, doesn't it? Like almost sickly, like jaundice. I feel like I have jaundice. Um, and I don't feel like I got an even application on my nose, but it's dry. Uh, the way it's looking right now, I don't love this foundation. It dries so fast that I don't feel like I have enough time to blend it in. I will see you guys in the next time I pop on here. I don't know when that will be, but it will be sometime. I just don't know when. So I will see you guys then. So I wanted to pop on here really quick. It is 8.20, so I've actually had it on for like, what, seven hours now? Something like that. And first of all, I wanna say right off the bat, the shade got much better once I warmed up my skin and put the bronzers and blush and contour and all that stuff on. So I do think that beige is still a good shade for me. This foundation really warmed up once I was able to put that on. Now, again, my only issue with this is it dries so fast that I recommend working in sections with this foundation and I think that's what I'll do next time is, you know, because I had like a sample size of it, I kind of just put these like little swipes on and then blended it in, but I would put a swipe on and blend it, swipe on and blend it and I would kind of work in section with this, which is what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I don't think I could give you guys the best review of this foundation without testing it next to the stick because I feel like that is gonna be something that will probably make you want this foundation or not. Because if you already have the stick and the stick works, 
And if this is like the stick, then there's really no reason to buy this foundation unless you're somebody that likes more of a liquid foundation versus a stick foundation. And I do think you're gonna get more with this than you do the stick. So we're gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna test it. But I'm gonna pull you guys closer so you guys can see what this is looking like. This is just a quick little midday check-in. So far, this is what it's looking like. It does look pretty good. Like. It's not, I don't feel like I got as much coverage as I do with the stick, but again, I'm gonna have to compare it next to the stick because I don't wear the stick all the time. It's something that I've gotta compare. So far, I really like it. It looks really good. I will see you guys tomorrow in the application. I'm excited to test this next to the actual stick foundation. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Day two, here we are. I am really excited about this because last night I wore it until about 1 a.m. and it actually wore really good. So I'm curious how this compares to the stick foundations. I'm gonna wear beige since it's, you know, next to beige. And typically, you know, like I said, I don't typically wear this foundation by itself. I've never really liked the powdery finish that it gives me. And I mean, it's long wearing, but I just have never really liked the powdery finish. But it does blend out so freaking fast. And you do have to build up the coverage. I prefer using a brush when I'm blending out the stick foundation. So now I'm gonna go in and just kinda press that in with the sponge. Let's go ahead and take the liquid and put a few stripes along my face. The shade is not the exact shade, so just know that. I mean, like I said, I was able to wear this shade and I was able to make it work, but it's not the exact shade and it smells different. So this, this liquid side smells a little more paint-like, I'm gonna be honest, it does have a, it does have a paint smell. It's not very strong, but it does have a paint smell. And the stick doesn't have a smell, which is interesting. You can tell right away that this side looks much different. And I think it's just because the shade is definitely more yellow. Based on what I'm seeing right now and first impressions, you know, comparing it to the stick, I would say this is exactly like the stick foundation. I think the only difference is I got quicker coverage with the liquid side than I did the stick side. So the stick side, I had to go in a few more times and really build up the coverage. But this side, I didn't have to do that. When you try to move the product or blend it farther into the skin, you end up picking up more product. So meaning you end up, you know how we were saying yesterday, you really couldn't see it on camera through the footage, but I felt like I was missing foundation in certain spots. And it was because the more that I pressed it in, the it would start to pick it up. Because once it's set down, you really don't wanna go over top of it because it will kind of pick up the foundation. So I've decided to come in real close so you guys could see. So this is the liquid side. And I just feel like I'm still missing like foundation like right here. I don't know, this is the stick side. And then this is what the forehead looks like. It is currently 9.42, so it's almost 10 o'clock a.m. So I'm gonna wear this for, de I'm gonna definitely wear this for 12 hours and longer. It'll probably be closer to 13 or 14 hours before I can get this off. So I will see you guys in my first check-in. I am back for my midday check-in. It is currently 4.30 in the afternoon, there we go. I've had the foundation on for seven hours now. The only thing that I'm seeing so far is number one, the shade. The shade is definitely different. And number two, the vanish stick doesn't build as quickly as the liquid. So the liquid, I got better coverage quicker than the stick. But when this, when this says it's a full coverage, I would not call this a full coverage. I put quite a bit of this foundation on yesterday, the liquid and I had a medium coverage. This is not a full coverage foundation. If, you are, if you're looking for a very pigmented full coverage foundation, you're gonna have to use a lot of this to get full coverage, and I don't know that you're gonna wanna do that because it is $56 for 25 mils, so it's that's pretty expensive to try to 
to have to build for coverage because there's so many different foundations out there that are full coverage and I think you'll have way better results as far as coverage goes than you will with this one. And now that I have my makeup on, you can't see a difference within the shade. So let me say that. Even though the shade is different, like when you when I swatched them, you could see that the stick that the liquid foundation is a little bit more on the yellow side. Once I got all my makeup on and stuff, you couldn't you can't tell that now. So I wouldn't worry about that, even though I don't think the shade is a perfect match, but it's probably because that's just the difference between liquid and stick form. So I don't, it's probably pigmented the same way, it's probably mixed the same way, all the shades are kind of combined together mixed the same way. It's probably the difference between liquid and stick. And so once you get all of your makeup on, there really isn't a difference. So if you have a perfect shade in the stick foundation, I would buy that shade within the liquids foundation. The stick side feels a little bit more tackier than this side. So the liquid side feels much more powdery than the stick side. The stick side feels a little bit more dewier, if you will. I did spray this uh, Glow Getter setting mist because you guys that's the only way I can wear this and have it work for me and if I'm going to give it a good review I've got to try to make the foundation work and most of us wear a setting spray whether it's a mattifying setting spray or a glowy or a long lasting many of us wear a setting spray so I didn't feel like that was really going to alter my opinion on the foundation based on you know spraying a glowing setting spray over top so as you can see this is what it's looking like on my skin so far and this is the sticks side and then you know this is what the forehead's looking like and again you know this is the liquid form and this is the stick you really can't see a lot of differences between that on my forehead um, I am testing out a new contour stick and I do think it's a little bit too dark but we're not here for the contour stick but um, I don't really notice the difference between these two at all actually Now I do kind of feel like it builds up in my nose, like the cracks on my nose, which is very typical for the Vanish stick. Um, a little bit crazy, but nothing too major. That's it for this update. I'm gonna come back later on this evening. I'm gonna give you guys my full final thoughts, my full opinion on the foundation, and we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna do the very best I can to give you all the information that you guys need for this foundation launch. So I will see you guys then. It is, oh my gosh, it is almost midnight. Um, I've got majority of the video edited. I just gotta finish editing it. It is currently 11.30 at night, so it is almost midnight. So I've officially had it on for, holy crap, I've had it on for 14 hours. No wonder my face feels really dry. I think that the makeup pretty much held up. Like, of course I lost all the coverage right around here, which is very typical. It definitely doesn't look like I've had the makeup on for 14 hours. This is exactly like the stick foundation. It's just in a liquid form. It is what it is. If you love the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, I think it would be smart for you to buy the liquid form. I don't know how quick you go through it. Like if you use this on a daily basis and you're going through it constantly, it might be smart to switch to the liquid foundation because I do think that the liquid foundation is gonna take you farther than the stick will. I do think that you get more coverage with the liquid than you do with the stick. The only thing that I do recommend is working in sections and kind of, you know, do your cheek up to your nose, blend that out, get it all nice and pressed into the skin and then move on. Because if you don't spread, if you don't press this into the skin quickly, it can be, it can sit on top. And because it's such a powdery foundation, it will set and it won't budge. But I do think for me, this is a little bit too dry. I don't think I'm gonna be buying the full bottle of it. I think I'll just stick with my stick foundation because I don't love this foundation enough for me to buy an entire bottle of it. And these two sticks are perfect for me. They're perfect for what I use it for. And they're exactly what I need them to be. If you love this foundation, I think you will love the liquid foundation. I think you will love how easy it is to blend. I think you'll love the pigmentation that you get from it. It's not instant. It, you do have to build this to a full coverage. I believe this foundation is everything it says to be except for full coverage. I do recommend getting a sample of this right now while you can at Sephora. I think the minimum order was like 
like 25 bucks and you know get a sample of it try it and then when it releases on january 25th and by the way it will be it will launch on january 25th on the sephora website and the hourglass website on a scale from one to five i would give this foundation like a four and a half only because i don't feel like it's full coverage it says it's a full coverage but this is a medium coverage in my opinion but the nice thing about this one is when you build it, it doesn't get cakey. So I will say that there's those foundations out there that are powdery type finish. And when you build on top of it and you just keep building and adding, it can get so cakey and so gross and thick and weird and just makeup-y and it's not a good look for anybody. This one is not that way. You know, you can add it on top of itself and it will not get cakey. Spreading it out with a brush and then going in with the sponge and really press it into the skin. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend filled with love and happiness. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. and I love you all so much. Bye.